and especially if you don't know the roads are slick or you just come uh, happen upon a slick spot out there and you don't realize it, uh, that can create issues out on the roadways. Of course, we've seen that before all season long. Right now we are quiet, at least for the immediate metro area. Nothing falling right now in downtown Des Moines. We've got cloudy skies out there. Temperatures are sitting right at that freezing mark, 32 degrees. We've got winds though sustained at 20 miles per hour. It is a cold start to the day and those winds will stay elevated here uh, through the afternoon and into the evening hours tonight. Wind chill values in the teens and low 20s for places like Ankeny and Des Moines uh, feeling like 16 out not have been 19. Uh, the wind chill right now up in Ames. This is what it looks like as far as the road conditions go. Southern and most of central Iowa all good to go at least for the noon hour, but notice the blues that are popping up here along uh, Highway 30 there. I-35 North as you head out of Des Moines. That's where you're having those partially covered roadways with that freezing rain band that, that's moving through north central Iowa as we speak. So as we go through the rest of the afternoon, the wintry mix will begin to pick up here across the state. We've got the heavy snow moving out of northern Iowa, pushing into Minnesota. We've got heavy rain down to our south and east, and then you see the pink there with that freezing rain and somewhat of a mix for some of us pushing across north central portions of the state right now. Moving through Ames, we've already seen a few reports uh, from people up in Story County along campus at ISU. there, reporting slick conditions right along Highway 30 as you head out of Ankeny up towards Boone into places like Huxley, Story City, Gilbert out towards Ogden as well. That's where we've got the freezing rain falling. So things are getting slick as we speak here and as we go into the afternoon and evening hours as that wintry mix becomes a little bit more widespread across the state. And that's where I think we could have bigger issues later on tonight as temperatures drop off this evening. So Conditions, if you're out and about today through the afternoon, take your time. But again, as you're headed north out of uh, downtown, that's where we have the slick, slickest conditions right now. Overnight tonight, as winds pick up and we see more snow across northern Iowa, that's where we could have pretty bad conditions by early tomorrow morning. That blowing snow, a big concern across northern portions of the state. So our by hour forecast looks like this. Winds stay elevated here this afternoon and evening. We head closer towards 3 o'clock tonight. Notice we still have mainly just rain across southern Iowa. It's north central northeastern portions of the state as you head out towards places like Waterloo where we have the best risk for that icing and significant icing at that. Once we get into the evening hours, some of that switches over to snow across northern Iowa. Precip lets up here across central and southern Iowa later on tonight and then the back edge of that system brings in a little bit of light snow across northern Iowa by early tomorrow morning. Winds are going to stay elevated throughout the day on Thursday though, so places that do see significant snowfall We'll have winds gusting to 25 to 30 miles per hour. So once we get through tonight, the rain and snow pretty much coming to an end. Again, best chance for the freezing rain basically along and especially south of uh, Highway 30 there, right along uh, the interchange there. Wednesday elevated tonight and tomorrow again, but temperatures this evening drop back into the low 20s. By tomorrow, we keep it in the 20s, a cold day ahead for your Thursday. More sunshine by the afternoon at least. Maybe a few snowflakes left over early tomorrow morning across northern Iowa. We've got a couple more days of the 20s, mid 20s on Friday. And then once we hit the weekend, back up into the 40s and 50s with another chance for some rain by the first part of next week.